There's an important vote Wednesday that will either stall construction on the contentious Trinity Toll Road or allow it to begin. The city recently took comments from residents at community forums on the Trinity Parkway and Fox 4's Lori Brown went through every comment and learned, boy, the opinions are lopsided. What did you find out, Lori? Steve, the city gave me this large packet of comments and it turns out hundreds of people said they were against having any Trinity Toll Road and only a couple of dozen supported the Dream Team's proposal. The comments declaring opposition to a Trinity Toll Road go on and on at the city's 13 community forums to present and answer questions about a scaled down toll road. The vast majority of people who filled out comment cards were not convinced, writing, we need another toll road like we need more humidity in the summertime. Building a huge highway in a floodplain is preposterous. I believe the Dream Team has come up with a nightmare, hoping this feedback actually gets read. Total against 322. Total in support, 28. It's pretty lopsided. No, I think that as I talk to the public, it's very clear that they want uh, a road that accesses the park. I think uh, that it's, it's pretty clear that the, the dream team plan is something that this, uh, city, uh, the, this city wants. M Street's right down there. But it's not something Brenda Marks wants. She's one of the hundreds who went to the community forums. I couldn't afford to drive on that road. If you're going to pay $10 one way to get nine miles a day, that's just cost prohibitive. She's skeptical that the Dream Team proposal could ever get funded, as is City Council Member Philip Kingston. The Dream Team proposal has a fatal flaw. It's still a toll road. Toll roads are incredibly unpopular for a lot of very good reasons, but the biggest reason here is that you can't, ha you can't charge people a fee to go to their own park. Kingston is one of at least five city council members who wants to redirect the city's Trinity Corridor project funds to flood control. Right now that money is set aside to dredge lakes. So what happens if this money is diverted on Wednesday? Well, the park's over. The park's dead. Kingston says that is not true and that the vote would only serve to defund the toll road. The dirt from the dredged lakes would create a bench for the toll road, which he says is nearly a billion dollars short of the needed funding. It'll just be sitting there as kind of a monument to transportation idiocy.